Are you looking to understand the basics of Gmail? You have come to the right video. Today we'll be going over the very basics in an introductory video. In later videos, we will go over best practices and how to save yourself a ton of time. Let's get started. I would assume at this point you have already set up a Google account. Select the appropriate account by clicking on your icon. If you're on the Google home screen, Gmail will be on the top right here. If you don't see Gmail, click the menu which is located next to your icon and find Gmail. This is your Gmail home screen. There are a ton of buttons and things on this screen that may seem overwhelming in the beginning. The top right logo is where you can manage your Google account. Next to this is the menu where there is a majority of the Google programs and applications they offer. Next to this is the gear icon. You can filter through some of these options to make it more productive for yourself. You can also change the theme of your Gmail inbox by pressing view all and selecting the appropriate theme. This will change the background of your Gmail homepage. Let's compose our first email. On the left side you will see a button that says compose. Click this and a new window at the bottom will open. Add the proper email contacts in the to slash recipient section and add a subject. Clicking anywhere in the large white box will allow you to type out your email. You can also maximize this screen by pressing this button here. You can also minimize this. When pressed it will disappear. But there will be a tab on the bottom right corner remaining for easy access. Click on this to return to the regular email state. You can change formatting options including font size, color, font type, etc. by pressing the capital A beside the send button. You can also attach files from your computer with the paperclip next to this. Insert links, emojis, access Google Drive files, and much more here. When you are done drafting up your email, press send. You can also schedule sending an email next to this with the drop down arrow. If for some reason you don't have a drafted email to click on the bottom, the left menu will display different email categories. This will include inbox, starred, snoozed, sent, drafts. You can also expand more to display other sections. Clicking draft will show emails we have already been previously working on. You can also set up your own custom signature. To do this, go to the settings gear icon on the top right corner and press see all settings. Scroll down and there will be a signature section. Click create new. Add your name and press create. Here you can insert things like business logos, name, phone number, email addresses, and more. Let's add a demo signature quick to show how quick and easy this can be. Once complete, you can select when you want the signature to appear. Click on for new emails and on for reply and forwarding. If you are familiar with vacation messages from Outlook, Gmail has the same feature to use. If we keep scrolling down from our signature section, you can set your out-of-office reminders to trigger when someone sends you an email. It's very basic. Just set the day you want the email responses to start and end. Create the subject, vacation alert, or something similar. And then fill up the message section with the response. You can also set this to only people in your contacts. Don't forget to save. If you lost an email that you can't find, there are a couple of important things that you can do. If you get a lot of emails, it can be annoying sorting through all of these, especially if you're replying the next day. You can right click an email and press unread. Doing so bolds this email in your list of emails. You can take this step further by organizing your inbox type to unread first. That way the email you meant to respond to will likely be near the top so it is easy to reply to. Back into our Gmail dashboard. Let's add our own custom labels to organize. Click more, scroll down, and press create a new label. Enter in work emails for an example and press create. This will now be displayed on the left side menu under the category section. Now a more advanced bonus for this video 
is to filter emails from specific contacts to a specific folder. This is to keep it more organized and easier to read in your inboxes. To do this, head to an email. Let's pretend this is from a work colleague. Click the three dots, which is more, next to the other options. Press filter messages like this. Now at the bottom near search, press create filter. Where it says to apply the label, select the work emails label we just created. Then press create filter. Now all new incoming messages from this contact will be sent with the work emails label. You can customize this to whatever way makes it easier for you to manage. However, creating too many labels does get quite confusing and annoying to manage. I would recommend sticking to limited labels. That's it for today's video. In later videos, I will create more advanced options and integrating apps to make your life much easier. It seems that people don't utilize email properly most of the time. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't miss another video. See you in the next video. And thanks for watching.